track. These guys can fight anywhere. Uh, a fort, maybe? I don't like this. Let's attack and see if we can make some progress driving him back. They've both fought. Do I dare fight here and maybe bring the Wyandot Indians? So this light troops bonus simply means in a wilderness battle, you get plus one to tactical initiative. He's going to get plus one. I would get this plus this. I would get plus two tactical initiative. I would have four dice to his two dice. Let's go for it. All right, so that's one action point. Uh, no, I used that to bring the Montreal Militia. Now, another action point to attack. Again, I need an interface marker here. Uh, I should bring... I don't have a little penguin figure or something. All right, I don't have one. All right, so I am going to get... Oh, and I'm bringing in these Indians. So I get one because I have the light troops bonus. I get two points added to my tactical initiative. Uh, he gets one point added. All right, I was a tie. I won. So I'm going to roll four dice and apply these against Johnson, if that is his real name. Ah, one hit. I'll take it. Johnson now gets one die. So worst case scenario, we draw. All right, he missed. Uh, I got more uh, hits. I win. My skill is one. He's knocked back one box. Uh, Lang de Lang... Oh, I should have used the militia. Oh, I couldn't have because they don't work on that track. He gets recognition, and poor Johnson gets disrepute in one battalion. All right, so I now have a few more action points. I don't have any battalions. Do I have any actions? Let's put a fort out. Let's put a fort out. One, two. We will put a fort there. Uh... And then I have two more points, because I can use Disco's bonus. Oh, uh, okay, once per turn, as an action, Bougainville lets me draw, do what's called a safe draw. So I keep drawing from here until I get a card that's not a British event or a world event. If I get those, they go into the recycle bin. Uh, all right, so here we go. This is great. George Washington comes out on behalf of the British. Thanks, Bougainville. All right, so he will fight the next time the British fight in the Ohio Valley. He has a light troops bonus. And once again, he did show up for real uh, early on in the French and Indian War. All right, so now this flips over. I have one action point for Bougainville. Uh, I don't think there's anything I can do. I don't have an action card to play. I couldn't attack if I wanted to. I don't have anybody to replace, and that's not enough to build a fort or anything. So we're done. For bookkeeping phase, we move off the markers. Oh, I forgot to do... Uh, we won the battle. Uh, if the French win this battle and suffer no casualties, which is what happened, recycle this card, otherwise discard it. That goes there. They will be back. Um... Bookkeeping, right. So this would be recycled in here or shuffled in here if we were at the Seven Years' War. We're not. No French leaders have to be sacked. Um, markers are replaced, so now we go to four. I think now, it's been three turns, right? At any point now, the Seven Years' War could kick up. So here we go. Action, brilliant maneuver. So I can spin this to let one of my leaders fight a second time. Remember, when this goes here, they can't fight anymore. I can use one action point, and they'll get a bonus to their tactical initiative and an additional battalion. Uh, this is an action card, so it goes over here in my hand. What did I... did I draw too few? Four, yeah. One, two, three, four. All right, so that was card one. Am I missing something? Yeah, that was card one. Uh, Vaudreau. Here's another... We're going to have to sack someone. All right. Here is another French general. This guy was, uh, he was sort of the boss around the French forces for a while. There's a great card in the game that doesn't come out until, oops, this, the Seven Years' War. Where was, yeah, they hadn't advanced. Uh, there's a great card that doesn't come out until the Seven Years' War uh, that is a leader named Montcalm. Montcalm. He and this fella, Vaudreuil, uh, were completely at odds during the course of the war. 
came from very different schools of thought. Once per turn, I may lower his reputation, I don't know what that represents, uh, to recycle without taking effect a British card that's not a leader. So if something really bad comes up, I don't want it to happen, he can burn his reputation down. Uh, remember, if it ever goes to disgrace on the French on the bookkeeping phase, they get sacked. One of these guys is going to go, though, because we already... No, three generals, four here, and we're good. Another one, Halifax Militia. They're going to help next time they attack Lewisburg for the British. And then, uh, mobilize colonists. I can spend this action to build two fort markers, which is helpful, or I can receive some replacements. That goes into my hand. All right, that was the historique phase. Now the British phase. Once again, Moncton throwing himself at Louisbourg. This will come into play, the Halifax Militia. And, oh, did I forget this last turn? This game might get an asterisk. Uh, and that uh, Fortress Artillery. I think it does get an asterisk. All right, who's going to defend? I cannot bring these guys into play because they only defend at Champlain in the Ohio Valley. There are going to be eight or six dice there. It's going to be Disco again, I guess. Mm, this is going to hurt. Yeah, we got to bring Disco. Oh, 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 it could be him. Uh, Disco, though, is going to get extra tactical initiative. I would love for him to get some fame so he can burn it. Although this is going to give him a bonus, and he's at disrepute. All right, this might be my first mistake, but I'm putting Vaudreuil into the field. Now let's give him these markers. All right, so battle fought. Again, I need some sort of a marker to show that he's fighting there. All right, so I've got plus one, plus two, because of I'm fighting in, in a fortress. He has one, minus one, because his reputation is down. This doesn't affect tactile initiative, does it? No. So he is at zero. I am at plus two. No, no. Yes, plus two. One for the skill, one for the fortress. All right. I really could use this. Good. Oh, uh, shoot. Shoot a monkey. Plus two. Zero. Higher reputation. We're oh, uh, ha ha. Ha ha. <laughs> so mediocrity is better than disrepute. All right, so I did barely got the tactical initiative over Moncton. I roll my four dice first. I really could use some hits. No matter what, even if I kill him, by the way, the Halifax Militia and the Siege Train would still get their hits. I want to win this battle, too, because it'll get rid of these guys. They'll go in the discard pile. If he wins, they're going to go in the recycle bin. All right, here we go. Come on, Vundro. Oh, no, oh, there's one hit. Two hits, good. Oh, that's awesome. So there's no way he's going to win because he's dead, which is great. So one, two. Even though he's dead, he still gets these four dice for the siege train, or the, the fortress artillery, and the Halifax militia. Here we go. Two hits. All right. Uh, so they lost the battle because he died, right? So Moncton is here. Let's see what happens. If they lose the battle, I'm pretty sure it's discard. Uh, so defending a fortress, I recycle this card. If it is a draw, okay, well, it wasn't a draw, so that, he lost. And these guys, uh, if the British win every battle, they suffer no casualties, discard it during housekeeping. Yeah, discard it if they didn't win. All right, so these are both discarded, which I knew would happen. <coughs> uh, and he gets driven back doesn't matter. One space. He's back in Halifax. All right. Things looking good in Lewisburg. So that's uh, St. Lawrence, the track, track one. Track two is Champlain. There's no general there. Track three, the Ohio Valley. No general. Track four, the Great Lakes. Johnson, with his one battalion, throws himself at Fort Detroit. Does anybody here part participate? Nope. He has none of those. I can't bring that in. Who's going to defend Fort Detroit? Well, we're going to have to send someone home at this point. Uh, so, um, let's go with Langdon. I can't use the militia. Uh, I can't use that there either. 
easily move one space. Uh, shoot a monkey. Let's get him some more reputation, I guess. Only two, only two dice is not good. I want this against him. All right, Vaudreau. Um, you are going to defend... Oh, no, he already fought. Bougainville. You are going to defend... at Fort Detroit. <laughs> this... All right, I'm okay with this. All right, so... Tactical initiative 2, plus 1 for the fort, plus 1 for a bonus. So that's plus 4. Uh, tactical initiative here, 1, minus 1, uh, so that's nothing. So plus 4, and no bonus for the red. All right. I get two dice. This could be a lot of nothing neither way. Ah, one hit. I will take it, and he gets no roll. So Johnson, uh, so I win which drives him back two spaces, right back into Hudson Bay. Uh, he is now dead. Oh, what is this? Oh, no, okay, I don't think. That would give him a bonus in a wilderness battle. I might have missed that if we fought him here before, in which case the game gets another asterisk. All right, so uh, that was four, five. His skill is one. He goes into Green Mountain. Now the French phase... We can never have more than five action points. All right, let's... Oh, oh, uh, at the beginning of the French phase, we rally or recall leaders. They've got one, so we lose two of these leaders. And by lose, they go to the recycle bin. They aren't discarded. Uh, the empire value is skill plus battalions. The lowest empire values go first. So we've got three, six, he's safe, three, four. All right, so three and three. Uh, Longdale and Vudreau, uh, they lose all this, they get sent into the recycle bin to maybe come back. Let me do some bookkeeping over here. Sorry, that's off camera. You can't see any of that. All right, now for the French phase, we get four action points. Uh, will we get Disco's bonus? We will. All right, no battalion replacements necessary. Uh, maybe give a couple of forts. Is there anyone we need to drive back? That's a little, uh, yeah, you know what? That's getting awfully close for comfort. Disco is going to have to attack here, and we cannot use those. This will be helping. Ah! All right, Shirley is actually in good shape, and he's going to have the New England Militia with him. Maybe I should put a fort in front of him. All right. Hope they don't get any artillery or anything like that. Could use this. No, okay, I'm gonna go one, two. I guess it's better to mobilize colonists to put out two forts early. All right, I'm going to spend one to use this action that is discarded. Mobilizing colonists lets me put out two forts. We're going to put one in front of Shirley. And then one... So you can have, only have one on each track. I guess at the head of the Ohio Valley in the Alleghenies. All right, this is key. We need to drive Shirley back and hope he doesn't get any special extra bonuses. Uh, <coughs> he's going to get five dice. It's in the wild. I can't use this. Tony's militia. No. All right. Uh, another trading post? Might as well. Getting the trading posts out early is pretty helpful. Let's go ahead and put a bunch of eggs in this basket. Remember, the farther forward it is, the more victory points it's worth at the end of the game. Uh, and I don't have anything else I can do because I get one point and then just go, oh, uh, where's the, the safe draw? Let's do this and do the safe draw.
I could this could be bad news, but I'm going for it. All right. This does not happen. This gets put in the recycle bin. Uh, I think. Let me look up safe draw shoot. I think. I don't think British generals come into play during a safe draw. I know exactly where this is. Uh, make a safe draw. British leaders and British event cards are immediately recycled. All right. That's Monroe. Uh, he's in the movie Last of the Mohicans, I believe. World event. Epidemic strikes Indians. This is a terrible one because, well, not terrible, irrelevant because there are no Indians on the board. Roll one die for each Indian card in the tableau. Uh, so an epidemic comes up and there are no Indians to be affected by it. That was my safe draw. All right, if I had something worth one point, I could do it because of Disco's bonus. I don't. That's the French phase. For bookkeeping, we remove the markers. We would have to sack anybody who was disgraced. Uh, this does not get shuffled into here. The Seven Years' War can't be too far off. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. All right, so this turn or the next. Here's four turns for the historique phase. Seven Years' War. All right, so this is going to get uh, trashed. Oh, world events get trashed. Did I put any others in there? No. Uh, however, what this marks now is that from now on, we draw six cards per turn. Uh, Europe is not at peace. This little marker shows here, Europe, not at peace for four cards, it's at war for six cards. Uh, we, uh, this is going to be shuffled into here, and we're immediately going to draw up to six. So that was our first, we've got three, we'll put two more, and that'll be six. So, that's trashed. Uh, yeah, so these will all actually be shuffled, and we're going to draw five cards, because that was one. All right, so bear with me as I make sure this gets shuffled. Do you like shuffling? I actually do. It's one of the things that... I wasn't talking to myself, I was asking you, the listener. Uh, one of the things I enjoy about the tactile nature of board games is the shuffling. My mother, I have vivid memories as a child of watching her shuffle and then do that reverse thing like that, just so fluidly. And I, of course, did not inherit that ability. Okay, let's try it here. Watch this. Yeah, okay, that takes. And sorry to be anal, but I'm just going to do this whole thing where you have three stacks and then mix those together. They're two points games. They're cards. I don't know if they print them themselves. They print these little laser cut markers themselves. But their cards have this, it's kind of a papery quality that I can see people complaining about. But it would, it reminds me, this is what cards would be like in the olden days. Uh-oh, did I mess this up? This is what cards would be like if you actually were on the frontier of Canada back in the 18th century. Actually, I don't know what they would be like, but I like to think this is what they would be like. I, the point is, I like their sort of papery cards. All right. This now is our full deck. From now on, at the end of the turn, anything in the recycle bin gets shuffled back into the draw pile. So as I said, there's going to be a lot of uh, shuffling here. So one, two, three, four, five. We now draw six cards every turn. Our first, first card was the Seven Years' War. All right, and one at a time, let's resolve these. Shawnee Indians, hello. Provincials, they show up. Oh, these are mine. Uh, they show up. Uh, good. Shawnee Indians, thank you. British Grenadiers, they're good at attacking fortresses. British events, scale the cliffs. Uh, there was some battle where uh, someone, uh, oh, Wolf, uh, it says right here. One of the generals named Wolf. Uh, this might have been at the Battle of... Um, yeah, yeah, so this is the climactic battle over, uh, I think it was Quebec, Montreal, somewhere along the St. Lawrence River, one of the main points of the, the British, uh, the Canadian defense, French defense. This dude, like, climbed up a cliff and uh, got some tactical advantage from it. So this just means uh, place on the tableau restriction must use the next British assault at a major battle. So the next time the British fight at a fortress, they're going to get a nice plus two tactical bonus. Uh, plus, they're going to have British Grenadiers. Uh, I got a bad feeling about Louisburg this next turn. We have to go. Oh, there's no one to advance. 
Well, we'll see what happens. Oh, good lord. Yeah. All right, this is terrible. So, the, the French, as a, as a superpower, didn't have a lot of resources to send to, to, to Canada, to, to this part of the, to this front of the Seven Years' War. Um, the British had naval superiority, so it was, it was hard for France, and France had to spend so many resources defending their own borders. They had long uh, borders on land at home in France. Britain didn't have that. So Britain got to basically roam the seas and keep the French. They, they made it very difficult for the French to supply colonies. Uh, furthermore, there were only, I think, about, like, the, the, as far as settlers in this area, the British outnumbered the French like 20 to 1 as far as population. Uh, and furthermore, as they settled, as they won battles, they would integrate the French, for the most part, into their populations. They would make it very difficult for the French to have resources and manpower to draw from. This card here, which is going to be a huge pain in my butt, is going to sit here next to this track, and it'll mean each general only gives me one action point instead of his tactical skill. Basically, it's going to strangle the number of action points I get. I can discard this as soon as I get a naval card that comes up. Let's see. The cards that have this little symbol, you can't really see. I'm trying to show you that. There's a little naval symbol right there. I don't know why I'm showing you this. You're not going to see it when I draw it. But at any rate, there's maybe seven or eight in there. If I get one of those cards, I can sacrifice what it does in order to get rid of this. Huh. All right. So this is a thing where this game can be easy or hard depending on where the what cards come out and when. This is uh, bad news. All right. Uh, so that happened. Anyway, the point being, as the English settled, oh, I mentioned it. So as the English settled and incorporated the French population, the French were even more outnumbered. This represents that. I have fewer resources, fewer action points to deal with. And uh, British replacements. Uh, let's see, there are no British casualties on the board. This just says replace one battalion on each active leader. If no replacements are received, this gets recycled. Otherwise, if any were received, it would be discarded. So that's recycled. There we go, six cards. This will get reshuffled back into there. Now, the British have one general. I have two. No, Brit no generals get recalled. Uh, oh, right, right, this is a big deal. Shirley is now going to attack the fort from, uh -huh, Shirley, from Green Mountain to St. Francois. He's going to get plus two tactical initiative, so he actually just advances into it. Uh, he's going to have grenadiers, which give him two additional dice and plus one tactical initiative, so plus three tactical initiative. And, oh my god, it's on the upper main track. This is not looking good. He's got a New England militia with him, which gave him two additional dice. So, plus one. He's not disgraced or anything. Three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Plus four. Whereas, I'm, obvious, I'm just going to have to d defend with Disco. So, one, two, three for the fort. So, I get plus three. He gets plus four. This is going to hurt a lot. Ah, oh, no, I'm blue. I win. Okay, so I get the tactical initiative. So I get four. Oh, no, I need to declare who's coming here. So he can't help. I will because I need every bit of help. Sorry, I didn't mention this before. I'm backing up. I will be bringing the Shawnee Indians. So I get tactical initiative. I get five dice. I could really use some luck here. Uh, and I forgot to give him his tactical initiative, by the way, for his bonus reputation. I won it anyway. All right, five dice. Two hits. Uh, this is good. And, uh, okay, so two hits on Shirley. One, two. Shirley gets one die. All right, Shirley gets five dice. If it's a draw, he's beat back. All right. And he gets five dice. Okay, come on, come on, come on. One hit. Oh, jeez, please, please. That ah, didn't count. Hold on. Ah. Okay, he got one hit. All right, so one hit on Disco. I took one hit. He took two hits. I won the battle. First, I drive him back two spaces. One, two. Uh, he loses some reputation. He's in disrepute. Uh, Disco, was he in recognition or fame? I'm going to assume recognition. He now has fame. Um, let's now look at what happens to the auxiliaries. Uh, 
If the French win this battle and suffer no casualties, which didn't happen, recycle it. Otherwise, discard it. All right, we suffered casualties. The Shawnee Indians left us. Now, this is great. Uh, this, uh, the British event, all right, that happened. All right, that's discarded. Now, I'm, I'm almost certain these get discarded. Uh, if the British win every, okay, so he stays in the upper main for the duration. He's used it every upper main battle. If the British win everyone and suffer no casualties, they stick around. They've already suffered casualties, they're leaving. The British Grenadiers, if the British win or draw, recycle, otherwise discard. The Grenadiers are gone. All right, I could get in there and finish off Shirley. It's going to take him a while to march up there. Uh, he's already fought. I could use my brilliant maneuver. Mm. All right, well, anyway, that was the British phase. There are no more generals out to advance. I'm going to get two action points because of the stupid English settlers. I could use replacements. Oh, he can't fight. Okay, you know what? Here we go. Um, just let him throw himself at, at this fort, maybe. All right, well, I'm definitely taking the replacements. Yeah, he's going to throw himself at the fort and just burn up. Uh, I don't feel like... All right, I'm going to do a safe draw. I'm going to use this uh, draw one safe draw. Action, timely intelligence. Okay, this would let me look at a bunch of cards here. I could get rid of one of them and then rearrange the other ones. However, it has this naval symbol. I am going to burn this card, as per the instructions here, to get rid of this English settlement card. These both get discarded, I believe, or trashed. It's important whether or not they're discarded because discarded cards can come back into play. Uh, all right, the card remains in effect till you draw a card and decide to immediately discard it without effect. Uh, oh, it's an event. Events get trashed when they're done. So trash meaning out of the game. Good. All right, thank you, uh, Disco. So that was the French phase. We remove markers. Um, these guys now are discarded because nobody, they didn't fight anymore. Uh, nobody had to be sacked. Uh, now, reshuffle the draw pile. All right, so bear with me. I have to reshuffle these uh, British replacements back in here. So, by the way, the game will last until this deck here is depleted, which, as you can see, there's a fair number of cards. Um, but now that we're drawing six per turn, and there's a card in here called War Tempo Increases, which will have us draw seven per turn. Uh, all right, so that is recycled. Now for the next historique phase, we take six cards. And we're going to resolve them one at a time. Uh, Amherst. Oh, geez, a Pete. All right, this is really bad news. Look at how many battalions he gets. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Until Montcalm comes out, this guy is really going to be a pain in the butt. All right, let's see where Amherst goes. A six puts him at St. Lawrence. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. All right. Let's, maybe we can get something out of this. Uh, oh, here we go. Levi's. Levi. Uh, another prominent general. Uh, this is going to be a huge help. And I imagine he's going to be facing off against Amherst. His special ability, once per turn is in action, randomly draw one card from the discard pile and either recycle it or trash it. Which, there you go. I can get things back out of uh, the discard pile. Yeah, place it in trash or recycle bin. All right, six battalions with Levi. Levi. I really should have learned French for this game. And a reputation of mediocrity. And we give him his battle fought token and his action taken token. All right, let's move on. Provincial siege artillery or siege train. This is mine. So the next time that I am in a fortress battle, I can commit these, these artillery, this artillery. And I'm guessing it's going to see some action at Lewisburg there against Amherst. So they're provincials. They come into play available. Action. Voyager militia. Just one point. 
Uh, and they have a light troop bonus. All right, so I can bring them into play later. Uh, oh, and they're only good on the Great Lakes. Does it say Voyager? Voyager, excuse me, it's got a little French twist to it. French Command Dispute. So, all right, the, the French squabble, uh, actually there's a card like this for the, the British as well, but this is going to, uh, so randomly determine one available French leader and place an inactive marker on him. Uh, so for this turn, he can't be used for anything, not action points, not defending, uh, exception. Oh, if I only had one leader, it wouldn't take place. All right, so we're trashing this. We're going to randomly determine, please don't be Levy. We need him to defend Lewisburg. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. All right, so the inactive leader is Bougainville. We'll just put that there. So, you know what, maybe we could do oh, it. doesn't matter. He's just inactive. No matter what. I was going to just put these markers here, but that, that's not even enough. It just He can't do anything. So there are things that could let him act even though he had markers on him. Brilliant maneuver, for instance. He doesn't have that. All right. And then finally, Quebec Militia. Hello. Welcome back, boys. As an action, I can bring them out, which I will definitely be doing. All right. That was the historic phase. Now the British Act. St. Lawrence first. Uh, and then Shirley will also be marching up the uh, upper main track. All right, Amherst hits Lewisburg. He has no assistance. George Washington only works in the Ohio Valley. I will be meeting him with Levy, fighting a battle, and I will be bringing these ar siege artillery. I can't use this, these uh, Montreal militia. I couldn't bring these in in time. That's okay, though. So eight dice to nine dice. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to win the initiative. I have a good feeling about this. Still mediocrity, though. So I get plus two, plus three, because I'm at a fort. He gets plus two. Actually, that is a little closer than I would like it to be. So blue is plus three, red is plus two. Am I missing anything? No. All right, come on, Levy. Yeah, oh, please, easy. All right, so six, eight dice. And those are going to be dice that he doesn't get to roll. So please give me some hit. Oh, my God. All right, next round. Okay, that's four. We get eight. One hit. Oh, I didn't give him his marker. So his battalions are now down to eight. You know what, though? Eight dice to eight dice seems fair. But we might lose Lewisburg now. Ah. Oh, God. Excuse me. All right, eight dice. Ah, there's one hit. Please let there be no more. I'm going to go ahead and incur that. Please, no more. Please, no more. Ah, two more hits. All right, and we lost Lewisburg. Uh, so these are discarded. They would be recycled if we had won. He loses a point of reputation, and Amherst gains a point, and he's at recognition. Yeah, that did not go as I had hoped. All right, so further British advances. We come around here. The upper main, he goes one space, and there's no fortress or anything to trigger a battle. All right, it is the turn of France. I get six points, caps at five. All right, let's, oh, do I want to hit him here? Do I want to wait till he gets to the wilderness? Here's an interesting thing. 